Hello, in this interesting example, let's find the power series for the given function. And the function here is 3 over 1 minus 10x. Everything is squared at a denominator, and it makes it a little bit different than other examples. Still, I can see that it does look like the geometric series. We know the geometric series for the sum 1 over 1 minus x is a sum x to the n n is from 0 to infinity and if you want to expand it to the 1 plus x plus x squared plus x cubed and so on infinite power series usually i teach it this way i am saying it 1 over 1 minus input will be a power series input raised to the n in the case of this example input will be 10x so it will be 10x raised to the n the only thing which does not match is this square and of course this 3 and the numerator but this 3 part actually is easy to fix I will just write it down in front of the fraction and it's going to be 1 over 1 minus 10x everything squared so we just need to figure out what to do with this square and then use the formula very interesting observation let's check if we can compare the given formula for the geometric series with its own derivative. What is the derivative of 1 over 1 minus x? Let's see. Based on the chain rule, it's going to be minus 1 over 1 minus x squared, right? Chain rule. Or if you do, if you want, you can do quotient rule, but I like using chain rule, times the derivative of the function inside. The function inside is 1 minus x. Derivative of 1 minus x is negative 1. So the result of this differentiation is actually positive 1 over 1 minus x squared. And it's exactly what we need. It's exactly what we need because it's going to be 1 over 1 minus input derivative gives you 1 over 1 minus input squared. And we have 1 over 1 minus input squared. So that's exactly what we will be using for this case. If you want to write down the expansion, uh, well, now let's write down the expansion for this derivative. Uh, the expansion for this derivative is derivative of this original series, right? And we know how to differentiate this original series. For example, I will differentiate this one, x to the n. So it's going to be a sum, n goes down, multiplied by n, x is raised to the n minus 1 n now starts from 1 to infinity because you cannot start from 0 if you plug 0 you will have 0 minus 1 at the exponent and or you can also differentiate this one derivative of 1 is 0 derivative of x is 1 derivative of x squared is 2x derivative of x cubed is 3x squared and so on so two ways to see it you can differentiate the series expansion or you can differentiate the infinite polynomial part and that is basically a formula for the new series. What kind of new series? This one. 1 over 1 minus input squared has its own series expansion, which is n multiplied by the input raised to the n minus 1. How did we find? By differentiating the original geometric series. This was the original geometric series. It converges for the input less than 1 by absolute value. We found a derivative of it. And uh, found, because of that, we found a series expansion for a new function, 1 over 1 minus input, everything squared. Now we can use that new input, uh, and that new series, to find the one we need. We need to find the series for 3. So I will do then or thus. Let's do thus. Thus, 3 times 1 over 1 minus input squared will have a series 3 in front and then series, I'm looking over here. Uh, no, actually, I'm looking over here. This is the most important part, I would say, over here. It's going to be a series n times your input n minus 1. But the input now is, what is your new input? 10x. So it's going to be 10x raised to the n minus 1. n starts from 1 to make sure that we have a proper 
first term you can always check uh, when you plug n equals one it should give you one at the very beginning and if we need uh, now we need to just infuse or this three i always say infuse and i'm not sure if it's the correct way to explain it but basically distribute or multiply everything by three then it's going to be a series 3n 10x raised to the n minus 1 n is from 1 to infinity and you also can just multiply 3 by the expansion as an infinite polynomial like so that also will work uh, so I can do like this and I will put or you can multiply 3 by the expansion 1 plus I'm looking over here 2 input is going to be 2 10x plus 3 input squared 10x squared plus 4 input cube 10x cubed and so on and then let me put brackets I'm multiplying everything by 3 it is not necessary to be honest but uh, they always explain it in the book so I will mention it as well 3 times 2 is 6 6 10x plus they don't distribute 2 to 10 because in the future it's too complicated to do anyways because you have to square and cube all the tens so then it's going to be 3 times 3 which is 9 9 10x squared plus 3 times 4 which is 12 10x cubed plus and so on so we had two questions here the first question is find for the given function the power series we found the power series the answer is over here uh, this is the answer here's the power series for the function they ask us to uh, find this is also a power series interesting that the proper way i would say to do it like this i would put square separately like so because this will indicate the variable versus a constant so i have x squared that one was actually cubed i had x squared x cubed and so on like so and there was also x here and there was just x to the first one over here so that's how it should be and then the second question was find first five coefficients coefficients are the one that are attached or glued to the inputs so axis that means uh, if you don't understand it let me write down more carefully that the coefficients are coming from the formula that a function can be represented not all functions but still can be represented as the power series which is c sub 0 c sub 1 times x c sub 2 times x squared c sub 3 times x cubed and so on this is the representation centered at zero so we just need to indicate what are my coefficients c sub 0 c sub 1 c sub 2 c sub 3 c sub n's and they ask us to find five of them so actually one is missing here let me put one more c sub 4 x to the 4 perfect so five coefficients starting from zero how to do that? That means they ask us to find c sub 0. You look over here, who is standing isolated like this? 3. That's the answer for c sub 0. c sub 1. Who is standing glued to x? x is in blue. 6 times 10. 6 times 10 or 60. Then we have c sub 2. Can you answer this question? 9 times 10 squared so it's going to be 9 times 10 squared or 900 c sub 3 is c sub 3 is this one let me keep making it orange 12 times 10 cubed which is 12 and 3 zeros and the last one is not there but you see the pattern did you see the pattern though <laughs> the pattern is going to be now 15 because it's going to be 3 times 5 
times 10 to the 4 as you can see it's keep matching the coefficient index with the exponent then it's gonna be 15 with four zeros and those are the coefficients here also one more thing to mention is where the series converges the, the original series which is the geometric series converges for the input to be less than one since we derived this series and we literally derived we actually found the derivative uh, series from the geometric series we need to say that the input also should be less than one by absolute value what kind of input whatever is inside of those parentheses and raised to the n power or n minus one in this case so i will put it here 10x by absolute value should be less than one let's solve so convergence set and then he was not asked to find it, but it's smart to always indicate where you are allowed to work or what is your safe area or in this case convergence set where does the series stable it does not blow up so i'm dividing by 10 it's going to be x by absolute value is less than one so convergent not less than one one tenth so convergence set will be from minus one tenth to one tenth and I can say convergence set is from minus one tenth to one tenth. Cent uh, so radius is one tenth. Center, I think in this case it's going to be A. Center always has differentiation, either A or A sub zero or C, doesn't matter, is zero. So that also important is the important part of the answer. This is my safe spot, safe space where I, can, where I am allowed to work with the series differentiate it, integrate it, and do all those kind of operations. Well, this is the example, a very nice, interesting idea that we actually integrated here, uh, differentiated a known series to find a new series. And you can imagine you can do it also by integrating some other series, how to jump from sine to cosine, differentiate, and uh, so on. So it's a pretty cool idea, not to just try to match whatever we have, but actually try to manip manipulate the series we already know. This one in blue. This one we know. This is a geometric series. And uh, using that, we differentiated it. And we got new series. New one. And then using the new series, we matched with the one we needed. And we needed this one. Well, good job and practice more. And I think uh, you will be both comfortable with problems like this. See you next time.